Hey y'all, Zach McDonald, your real estate agent here with Real Property Associates. And I wanna bring you a review for my most recent offer negotiation. And this was an offer I made yesterday for an investor. So they were buying this house as an investment or at least trying to buy it. Spoiler alert, we didn't get the house. Um, quick backstory, so these clients, I met them on Zillow of all places. So Zillow is an online other places like Facebook, YouTube are places that I meet clients and uh, I, I, I enjoy making relationships with people that find me online, it's fun. Sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't, but in this case, these uh, people decided that they wanted to work together. And we made our first offer together on a townhouse in the Green Lake neighborhood. So this house, not a huge townhouse, pretty small, 1200 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, but pretty, pretty typical townhouse, but walking distance from Green Lake Park. So great location, quick access to the freeway. We made a cash offer. So these buyers were cash, no contingencies whatsoever. They even offered to release some of their earnest money to the seller early. Uh, we were a little over 7% above the asking price. So we didn't come in crazy aggressive as most investors aren't the ones that are spending the 20% over the asking price, but we made a good offer, solid offer, cash. And there ended up being 18 offers on this house. There were at least a couple other cash offers. The listing agent wouldn't say too much more, but there were at least another couple cash offers that were similar to ours in structure, but were significantly higher on the price. So my guess is there was somebody that was planning to occupy the house and really was willing to stretch on this townhouse. It is so hard right now to place a value on a house where, and in this market, really the house is worth what somebody's willing to pay for it. So when I make offers with clients, we look at comparable sales, we look at how much they went over the asking price, but really it's a house by house basis. So with a total of 18 offers, we were somewhere in the middle of the pack, even as a cash offer, buyers, being cash is not necessarily what gets you to win the offer. And it could be that one of the offers that won wasn't actually cash. The listing agent didn't say definitively that the cash offers that were higher than ours won. It is possible to win without cash. And if you are, if your financing's pre-underwritten as a buyer, you have a very good shot if you don't have a financing contingency to actually compete with cash, uh, specifically if you're willing to pay more than them. And sellers, Man, it's heating up again. I'll be sharing in my next market update here soon that Seattle's median sales price hit a new record high as of January, and we're now, I think, already into the prime time of listing. So this is the time to start thinking about um, putting your house on the market if you are, are planning to do that, at least getting the conversation rolling, getting, you know, getting the house prepped. So if you have questions about this um, process or want to talk, I'm happy to be a resource for you. And I actually just made an offer again this morning, which will be another one of those competitive situations. So hopefully we come out on top of, on this next video, but stay tuned. You'll see this one later today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your attention and we'll uh, be back at you here soon. Bye for now.